Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the pixellab.net and welcome to the final Nitro Blast tutorial. So this is it. Let's go ahead and do the last one. Um, this guy right here is called a spline break object and it's pretty basic, but I'm going to go over it and it might give you some cool ideas. So we'll go ahead and add this guy and the way that this works is you need to put a spline inside of it. So let's go ahead and go to our splines and put in a text dump that in here. And what uh, the spline break does is basically treat it like an extrude and then also chops it up into cubes. So there's sort of a grid on here and uh, it's gonna chop up whatever spline is in there into really nice cube shapes, which is kind of a hard effect to, to make otherwise with text. So um, let's go ahead and go to our uh, simulation tags and we'll go to rigid, bot no, collider body. So we'll add a collider body, and then what you need to do is turn your dynamics on, and then under collision, right now if you check this out, uh, nothing's gonna happen. That's because it's treating this as one piece, not separate little chunks, right? So all we need to do is change individual elements from off to all, and that'll treat all these little chunks as individual elements. And then when we hit play, they're all going to fall down as little chunks, which is really cool. Now this uh, spline break actually has quite a few uh, settings. If we go to the dynamics body or to the main, sorry, um, we can change it from segment size or we can change it to segment number, in which case we can just add a bunch of different segments into here. And uh, it updates very quickly. And then when you hit uh, render, all these pieces are completely dynamic. Um, yeah, so what else can we do? We can offset these guys. Let's go ahead and maybe change this back to segment size. Um, we can offset where the slice is happening. Um, we can also change the spaces. So right now, if we hit render, there's little spaces in between here, kind of like bricks or maybe um, little tiles, right? Well, if we don't want that, we can just uh, turn the spaces off and then it'll be completely perfectly flat until it falls down. There you go. All right, so that's basically it. A really fast way to chop up uh, some spline text into cubes. And then what you can do is go ahead and go to MoGraph uh, Fracture. And if you change your fracture mode to explode and connect, then it's going to treat all these chunks as little objects that you can add a random effector to. And then in your random effector, um, you can go ahead and uh, tweak your settings like this. Then you can animate these cubes to form into your text, which is a really cool effect. And uh, maybe you'll find some use out of it. So that is the Nitro Blast Spline Break. Well, that's it. That's the final tutorial on Nitro Blast. I really hope that you found some use out of it. Um, like I said, this is one of my favorite plugins of all time. And I really hope that uh, this inspires you to go out and buy it and play around and make some really cool stuff. Thanks for hanging in there with me and all these tutorials. I really appreciate it. Thanks for supporting the site, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Bye, everybody.